All right, what is going on, everyone, and welcome back to our journey to Pen Black Star, episode twenty-one. It's that time of the week again where we light silver on fire, hoping for the best. And if you haven't caught any of the previous videos, here are the stats for our previous episode. Um, so yeah, we are basically at the point where we're just lighting silver on fire, and even if we were to get pen, it's not profit. But looking at these stats. The 0 out of 10 for Pen, 9 out of 197 for Tet. That's pretty bad, considering, you know, from uh, try to Tet, should be between like 6 to 10%. That's not it. But anyway, with that said, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Um, usually it goes up every Friday, and so in case you were wondering what day it comes up, generally Friday unless something happens but let's see how this week goes and left off on duo yesterday or not yesterday but last episode and let's see what happens all right so last time we did actually get another pen attempt so I don't think we have an actual big stack so we'll just like use just 117 I guess uh, so let me put that there Okay, let's see. First click of the day. Let's go. Eep. Didn't go. That's unfortunate. Oh, God. I don't want to build another 100 stack. Ooh, a first tet of first to tet attempt of the day. You see how it starts at like 6%? My rates are not that. That doesn't help the overall cause. And in case you guys are wondering how much I spend like silver wise, if I were to not use artisans or anything, it's probably around five to six billion silver an episode, which sounds like a lot, but at the end game, it's like a few hours of grinding. So ultimately, yes, I am lighting silver on fire. No, it's not that bad. Oh. Oh, another Ted attempt. Can we get it? 6%? Of course not. Why would I get that? Wait, hold on. Where were we at before? So we're at 9 out of 199, so it's about to be 5% next time we fail it. Very cool. On lower than average. So we're out at 30 stacks, but we have some 40s. Um, okay. Let's use the 40s. Kind of want to save like a 48 or something just for um, when we go for that. Let's use the 30s. That didn't feel too good. So, yeah, if I were to average that 21 episodes times like, let's say, 6 billion an episode, that's like 120 billion. <laughs> Already spent, and a black star these days is like 130. So we basically have to get it within 10 billion or break even, essentially. I didn't even repair it. Oh, I did repair it. Okay. Two hundredth tet click. We are five percent from try to tet on an average, starting at six percent, going to like eleven. 
That's terrible. Holy. Oh my god. This is why you should just buy your gear. I would have been surprised if that just went, to be honest. Failing Pride of Duo actually feels so bad. Failing like Duo and Up. It feels bad, but it's not as bad. We're about to get another pity, aren't we, today? Every episode, I make at least one pity try. Like, going full aggress. 8 out of 8, or whatever it is. I don't know why I expect that to go on like a 50. Well, at least there will be a light at the end of the tunnel eventually. And when I think about it, I'm just like, how much would this cost if I were to guarantee it? So I'm at 10 out of 40 now, and each attempt, assuming you cronstone it, is... What is it? Like 10 billion per pen attempt if you cron? Times 40, so you're basically... If you were to go full aggress essence, 40, that's like 400 bill, I think. My god. what? That's such a high number. For a pen black star. It should be like, if I were to change to aggress from tet to pen, it should be like 25. Like, obviously you should be spending more to get like the light at the end of the tunnel, but it shouldn't be like four times the price. And I'm pretty sure uh, Debareka is actually worse. That was just straight failure. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What? Five out of eight. We got this. We don't got this. Every time when it's like one away from that guarantee, I know better than to use the big stack. Okay. Anyway. I think after I get the pen black star one day, I'm going to be taking a long break from enhancing black stars. Plus, we all know that Fallen God weapons are coming out this year. It's already been announced by Pearl Abyss. We don't know the stats or anything yet, but we just know that the next set of um, weapons are coming soon.
some reason, I thought skipping it would be lucky. In case you guys are wondering, how do you make fail stacks? How do you build a 200 stack? <laughs> Literally having the worst RNG rate. 8%. Oh! It's another pen attempt, boys. I say this every time, but if you are unironically going for a pen... Like, and you actually need it, uh, you cron every step from uh, Tet to Pen. I know it feels bad with three mil crons and costumes being so scarce, but you cron every attempt. Or just buy it. Buying it is a lot better. All right, boys. Are we memeing it? We're memeing it. We're going to the dark room. So here's what happens. My goal is to actually try to either one, get the pen black star. Obviously, that's the goal. Or build like a 280-ish, 290 stack for a pen devo. Because um, our goal right now is to get the, um, obviously, two rings. And that's my... Like, only upgrades right now, so... Yeah. I need some more base devil rings, and the Arethia's Limbo token does not want to drop for me. So that's a struggle. Alright, boys. 5%. Can we get it today? I hope so. Yeah, eat. Oh, nope. That didn't even linger. That was just like, no, you're not getting it. GG. It's over. Well, um, we're still going to finish enhancing, but let me think about this. So I have a uh, 238 plus 13. I have a video on like how to go about doing the uh, origin of Dark Hungers plus everything. So from all those events that they gave us, I have like the extra origin of Dark Hungers. So that's another 22 uh, fail stacks. Plus I have some of these. So I think that's another I think 15 stacks. So 15... 15 plus 22 is 37. So if I were to use that, I basically have a 290 stack. But if I could push it slightly higher, um, obviously that works too. So I have a 290, but we're going to keep pushing it because I don't even have enough crons or uh, a Tet Devo ring. Okay, we are back. Man, 253 stack. By the way, building a 250 stack on pen black stars is not the way. If you're trying to actually build like a 250, you would use like standard boss gear. You could use Reblath. Um, so yeah, that's significantly cheaper. But, you know, for the sake of our goals, it either goes... Or we build a nice stack for later.
Okay. Um, let's see. I, I, whatever happens, I need 13 of these. So we got to 150 from the seal thing. That's where I got mine. But I don't particularly want to use 150 just yet. So I think we will use the... Actually, hold on. Let me see. Do I have any other... Hmm. I have stacks, but they're all kind of weird. Let me just use this one and carry it over so I don't have to pop an extra... You know, if I were to have Cronstoned every attempt so far, it would have been a lot cheaper. But for the sake of the journey of no Crons, we'll see how it goes. Wait, did I just straight up only take out three? Well, we're back at the 6% mark again. Have I ever hit a Tet Black Star in like 115? I think the lowest I've hit it on is like 120, actually. And the highest I've hit a Tet is 210. Or two, I guess like 230. Either way, the range of me hitting Tet Black Stars is actually wild. We go again. You know, if we had a back to back Tet, that would have actually been like the highlight of all 21 episodes, but we don't. So here we are. Mm, we have to make more, don't we? I actually kind of go through a lot of sharps. Is the... um... Wait a second. Make it concentrated, right? That not it? Dude, my mind just went like blank for a second. Hold on. Sharp times one. Do you not use these anymore? What? Do, how do you mass?
I thought they actually added the feature to mass them or like I know mass processing exists, but that one takes like two or three minutes. I thought there was a way to do that. Well, anyway, while that's happening. You guys remember that video I made? I don't know. I guess whenever these Jay's hammers came out and I talked about what I thought the real value of these are. And people are like, oh, they're all going to sell out. Bro, it's been like a couple of months. Okay, so we got them. Probably in March sometime. And then they've been sitting at minimum price for three months and they haven't sold out. So for all the people who bought them at like whenever they were at an all time high of probably like 40 to 50 billion. Just want to let you know, here we are. This is why I know the market better than a lot of people do. But, you know, you do you. Alright, let's see other things. If I were to have gotten that pen, how much would I have been able to sell it for? Like, 125 minus tax is... Probably like 110 to 115 billion ish. Even if I had a, an extra 110 billion, what would I do with it? I would literally buy a Debareka ring, buy some Cron stones, and YOLO pen that. <laughs> so that's pretty much what would have happened if I were to have gotten that pen black star buy a tet buy some vendor crons minus 110 20 billion do one tap hope it goes if it downgrades gg all right I think this might be our last click for day we'll save the rest of the materials for next time um well Prior pen. Let me get some more materials. If it goes, we go. If it doesn't, then it's fine. All right, we're done for today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Would love to see you guys come back. And if you're new to the channel as well, we have some other stuff in terms of like guides and other helpful videos for both beginners all the way to end game. So it's a lot of stuff to watch. If you have any questions, join the Discord and leave a comment and all that stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.